And speaking of getting together and solving problems, we got <laughs> what a day it was yesterday. Um, oh man, Twitter. we were going back and forth <laughs> on you know WhatsApp and stuff, and I had a bunch of people messaging me, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was completely caught off guard. Yeah. Um, all I saw was this, this. What we're talking about is Mickey Singh, and of course, Manpreet. Manpreet, yeah. Uh, they were allegedly dating, as I assume. Yeah. Um, it was on and off dating though, because there's been okay. times where you can tell when they're not together, and they're not. Okay. I, they've had they've had issues. I can tell. You can tell. You can see that they're unsaid issues. You know. Okay, so see, there you <laughs> go. so that's why I got. You know, this is why we got a female perspective on you because I'm coming from a totally different perspective. I'm married with two kids. When a girl deletes your pictures, there's problems. <laughs> <laughs> so now correct me if I'm wrong. Cause you're probably, um, you know, more into it than I am just because of your nature of, of who you are and you know, your, your, your crew. Um, so mm-hmm. apparently there was a, it was an Instagram post by Manpreet saying that. She was being um, questioned or something, right? Something where um, Mickey Singh, the singer Mickey Singh and Manpreet, she's a, she's a YouTuber. What dancer. else? Is she? Yeah. She does dancing. dancer. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. So oh, they yeah. were, they were dating apparently. And she posts something up on her social media saying that Mickey Singh cheated on her. Is that pretty accurate? That's the exact post. Yeah. Okay. And then once <laughs> and she that said, happened, anyone, she's like, if anyone knows any details, just let me, let, let me know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so much. all I can, all I can say is this, when that happened, social media just went ballistic you know oh, yeah they and they I, love that shit especially brown yeah. brown people they're like yeah, yeah. and it's just <laughs> and we just before the show we're talking about pav darias which will you yeah know, his tweet let's what yeah. was his tweet i was just telling you right now it was said um hold on it's it said person a cheats on person b in a committed relationship a lack of control of their emotions okay Person B publicizes a personal and private issue to defame a lack of control of their emotions. Who's worse? A is wrong. B is also wrong. Time to write a song. See that? I I get what he's saying. Like, you know, she did act out of emotion or whatnot. But why can't she? She's not trying to defame him. She's just saying what happened. Uh, everyone's saying, what, yeah. like, everyone's going to keep asking you. She. You know, she got cheated on. Maybe she wants information. I'm saying this from a girl's perspective. 100%. I, I mean, she could have been quiet about it, but maybe she's tired of being quiet about it. Maybe she's, this is not the first time it's happened. You know, I like, I don't think it's the first time that's happened. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I've seen things, but I've heard, you know, Mickey has been in people's DMs while he's been with Munchie. <laughs> I mean, Whoa. Just, <laughs> Whoa. just saying, you know, he's a, but um, this TMZ right now breaking. Yeah, it's, I'm the perfect person for it, and yeah. and I don't and I don't see why. And like like everyone probably saw them as like this couple, Mickey Singh and Munfried. You know, they're so cute together. He sings, she dances, but there's always like a man is a man at the end of the day, right? Not all men, not all men, but <laughs> not all men. Don't come for me here. Um, it's just I feel like one of my friends had said something they're like you're a product of your environment so do you think maybe mickey's just around like all that bullshit all along and he just thinks it's okay oh it's got to be 24 uh, 7 24 7 but i mean so a lot of men are don't you think but it's just yeah. choices yeah and I, mean, I, don't, I don't know the full story about it but i'm just saying that i understand i feel bad for the girl like she's such a sweet girl i've met her she's a very very nice girl and um I think she's been in a tough relationship in the past. I don't know details about it. So, I mean, she's allowed to feel hurt and betrayed. That's, she's allowed to do that. Unfortunately, she's bigger than Mickey and she, you know, had to express it and it blew up. I don't think maybe she did want to defame. No, I don't think she wanted to defame him. I think she mostly wanted people to know, like, you know, this is who he is. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I guess, I guess coming, I guess, no, there's both sides. Let me hear it. Let's play devil's advocate here. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily agree, and I'll explain why, with, I guess, posting it publicly like that. Yeah, um, okay. I understand that. Because whether he cheated or not is irrelevant, right? It, mm-hmm. we, we don't know the full story. I don't know the full story. We don't, right? I don't know the full story. Okay. I'm just But the problem, the, like, sure, she got the sympathy vote. That's fine. 100%. Right? Yeah. Um, Mickey got the worst end of it. 
Oh yeah, remember? did you read those comments? Oh, man. Like, if, guys, if you want to go on his Instagram. Oh, it's honestly, popping. Yeah, it's well, what a, he's brave though. He went in and posted a song. <laughs> like what? Like yeah. and about like a love song on top of yeah. that. It was. Yeah. Oh, so man. I I guess maybe it's a generational thing. So I want your perspective on this. Like I I think, I think they could have kept some of it in the house just for. Yeah. But people I mean, are not going to let it be in the house. But I guess, I guess maybe she just didn't want. She, she didn't want twisted stories around. Yeah. Like she just wanted to be like he cheated, and that's what it is. Yeah. So I'm, I get I'm, what you're saying, though. I, you know, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, I mean, that's. What, yeah, I would have probably. Maybe I wouldn't have posted it. I don't nah, know. It I depends on. I, I, I think you would have. Depends <laughs> on how angry I was. I would have made a podcast about it. That's what I would. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um, I guess. I. I, I guess. Um. When you so I'm gonna I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna say something totally bizarre here, but it's fair to say that any publicity is good publicity. Yeah, that's where Mickey's at right now. <laughs> so that's where Mickey's at right now. And do you think by her posting this, it possibly backfired of what she was trying to do? Because Mickey must have got millions of hits. Oh, and that, yeah, whatever. That, that song wasn't and that he good. song, you know, it wasn't okay. That song, was, that song wasn't that good. Heard your first exclusive. <laughs> you heard I, I'm heard you. No, I mean, like, let's be real. Like, his songs have been, you know, okay throughout the years. I mean, oh, yeah. he's he's a talented kid, or I don't know if he's younger than me or not, but he's talented and everything. But you know, they've been okay. But I think this song probably got the most hits because of Mud At first, I thought it was um. I think I always think everything's a publicity stunt. I never believe anything. <laughs> so like to me at first I was like, no, is this real? But she's, I, she's such like a nice girl that I thought like, no, she wouldn't. I don't think she would. So, you know, her. personally, I'm like, not like super personally, but I've met her a few times. Okay. Yeah. She's, I've kn- she's from the same area I am from. Okay. And she's every time I've met her, she's very kind, very sweet, like not like hostile or anything like that. And then the times I've met met Mickey, you know, I'm biased because I've met him, you know, girls and X yep. Max, you know. <laughs> so yeah. I'm biased about that. But I, I think it's I've been on both sides of the spectrum. You'll hear you heard it first. I've been cheated on myself. Oh, I, sorry to hear. That's shitty. Yeah. No, but then I've also cheated. <laughs> Be and yeah, I have. It's yeah, I know you've heard it here first. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, no, I have. And that's, but it was more like going back to the ex-boyfriend kind of thing. To me, it was like, I started, you know, um, I started getting like a little famous. I was dating someone that wasn't in the, in the, in the industry. And then he didn't like what I was doing. Then I met somebody who was in the industry. And then I was like, wow, you know, like I met this guy and he understands me, he gets me. But the other guy was safe. You know, the one that I was with all these years and then, you know, I'm like, and then I'm working with this person that's in the industry. And then, you know, like we kissed and stuff clicked. and you know, we just clicked. And then, but then like I started dating him, but then I finally realized the same thing, the industry stuff that that shit gets to you too. So he was out doing the same thing Mickey was doing. So, you know, I kind of got caught off guard by the, you know, the, like the, oh, he gets me kind of bullshit. And then what did I do? I go back to the safe side again, you know? So I've been on both, like, we have feelings where human people, you know, stuff happens. And I regret ever, you know, cheating on someone and stuff. So I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've seen somebody, how they feel after you've done that to them. And it's been done to me. So, you know, like, it's, it's, it sucks. I mean, now at this point in my life, I would never do that. I would never want to do that to someone else. That's another reason why I wanted to talk about the cheating thing. But the thing is that I did it one time, like, you, you either do it one time or you keep doing it. It's, it's just, or you never do it. This just depends. So do you, do you think um, Mickey deserves a bit of sympathy here in terms of what's occurred in this situation? Again, I don't know. him. I mean, I don't know. I feel like he's done it before to her. I, in my opinion, I think he just got caught like red handed this time. Fair play. I feel like, Fair play. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that there's been something going on and, and then, <laughs> finally got caught and that's what happened so if that's the case i think mickey deserves it i think he needs to stop his shit like once in a while not even just him like guys that cheat all the time like i think nice girls always take them back and then they just back at it again you know and but i mean do i think my should have posted it no i don't think she should have but do i get why she posted it yeah i do get why she posted it because in her head she's hurt she's like he deserves this yeah, I mean, I, I don't think she should have posted either, but I understand why she posted it because it's just the nature of 
how people are doing things. They, they'll mm-hmm. go in and they feel like social media is given basically anyone a license to say what they want. Not yeah, necessarily a good thing. Exactly. And, and, they, and there's, they, they, she must have found some sort of inner solace in it by posting it, right? She probably didn't know the power of it either. She probably, I, honestly, I don't think she thought it was going to be trending on Twitter. <laughs> uh, I, who knows, <laughs> right? Maybe it was intentional. I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know. He's getting publicity from it. He's getting right? publicity. But the after effects of all this is, mm-hmm. you know, because me and you. You better not go back to him after this. That's, that's going to be all well, bad. I, who, uh, who knows, maybe. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the after effects of what I've been seeing, you know, you know me, you're on my Twitter feed and I say it how yeah. it is, brown Twitter. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, like, what's with you women, man? Men are trash. Oh, now, oh, now it's like, everyone's trash. Everyone's yeah. trash. And I'm just reading this and I've been very good at not responding anymore because, um, no. you know, I, there's, no, just, there's just no point, right? But, yeah. um, you know, it, it's, it's a dangerous place to be because everyone has an opinion and everyone's going to voice it. Yeah, everyone's going to voice it. And that's fine. You know what? Maybe most men are like that. Maybe not. I don't know. Right? I can tell you. I think, from I, my point something, I, think I posted something like that too. I was, I was in my feelings and I was like, most men in the industry. But even though I'm saying most, I don't mean all. No. I'm just saying the handful of that I've experienced. <clears throat> Have yeah. all been like that. Like, I mean, there's a lot of boys that are of mine that are in the industry and they've done it. I know married men in the industry, one particular, maybe a few that do the same shit, you know, and I think that's not cool, but I just, yeah. it is, I feel like you are a product of your environment and it does, it's not just this, the environment. It's also, if you see these people are cheating all this offset and Cardi fucking yeah. Ky- what's Kylie's best friend, whatever, all this shit. Cheating is going, it's like cheating season right now. Wow. <laughs> it's not cuddle season anymore. It's cheating season right now. But it, but I guess it comes down to um, like, is that, I don't know if this is the right word. Is that normal? Like, is that, is the, is the, the, the worth of the relationship or the meaning of having a relationship is, is it, is it kind it's of like there. diluted? Is it still there? I feel like in the industry, it's diluted. I think right. people still, I mean, I still would value a relationship. I, I, hence, like, I don't want to be in one right now after <laughs> the whole shit that's going on out there. But I, I think it depends. I think when you're in that environment, you have all these temptations and things like you want to have a relationship, but then you also want to do all this bullshit. So I feel like, and then I feel like women are starting to get used to the cheating men are started getting used to cheating on women. So it is starting to get diluted, the relationship thing. And, yeah. it, and it sucks. Less people are getting married. Less people are, people are getting married at older, older ages now. People don't want to have kids anymore. You know, it's, it, I feel like it's definitely diluting a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, I think so. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give you my perspective. I, yeah. I, if he As did a happy cheat, married man. <laughs> yeah, if, if he did cheat, I, I think that's a douchebag move, personally. A hundred. Um, you know, man up and just say you don't want to be with that person. Yeah, why um, even waste anyone's time? It, it, why are you wasting her, that poor girl's time? She's doing such a great job out there. And it, it, no matter how famous you are or how what you are, you, that mind fucks you, you know? I'm sure she loves man. Listen, in my, him. In my younger yeah. days, I was never around. I was DJing, touring. Mm-hmm shows whatever right so yeah you know hopefully wifey doesn't hear this but i couldn't hold a relationship to save my life nor did i try right yeah and at the end of the day um mickey i mean the guy the guy's a rock star say yeah. what you want right girls love him yeah girls love him um a shout out to all the girls who i read this tweet where it was like man he was your man man crush monday last wednesday now he's like a douchebag <laughs> or something today like make you up your mind <laughs> Honestly, guys, you got to check out his Instagram. It's the funny shit I've ever read. Uh, yeah. I, I, let me like read one comment right now. Go for it. Go for it. It's going to be so Mickey, funny. This is nothing personal if you're going to watch this because everybody watches this. Watch <laughs> yeah. this. Nothing yeah. personal. It's nothing true. personal, Mickey. This is just Hopefully gossip. people can learn gossip. from this, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, shit. You shouldn't have cheated, man. Uh, I would I would have said it to his face, too. <laughs> let me <see. laughs> I shouldn't cheat it. Okay. Yeah, man. It's just, um, it's, it's a shitty situation. Um, you know, like I, I feel for, for, uh, Manpreet if, you know, if it's true, um, you know, like mm-hmm. the way it came out, I mean, she seemed really heartbroken. I mean, okay. I think she was too. Yeah. Okay. Here it goes. Laughing my ass, ass off. Manpreet actually exposes cheating ass. I'm just here for the insults. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Will a pillow, because the song had to do with like a pillow with love. And then one put, 
Will a pillow a cheater on it work? <laughs> oh, wow. How would you cheat on Manpreet Tor? She's a goddess. And then this person said, this section is looking worse than Tristan Thompson's section. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. you know, I don't know. It's tough. I don't even want to bring this up, but I mean, maybe the relationship was just brutal. We don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. that We maybe don't know that. She was psychotic and maybe he was whatever. Like, again, I'm know. not condoning. No, no, it's, you know, it's true. You never know. I mean, because you were, you know, you were in a similar situation. You were saying not to throw you back under the bus there, no, but no, it's okay. You know, I, um, I, I own up to my mistakes. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, you know, and that's that's really important. And you know, people and that's, are gonna learn from it. You know, that's yeah. why, like, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> but even being on the bad side, like, even though I felt like I was in this situation, I didn't have to be in that situation. I could have easily took myself out of that situation, but I wanted to be sneaky about it. You know, I wanted to like, I wanted both things to make sure that I knew exactly what I wanted. And then it backfired on me, but because I was being a selfish person. So, you know, it is what it is. And yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. When people cheat, you're being selfish because you just expect the other person to take you back at the end of the day. That's right. So, you yeah. know, the whole, the whole point of this thing is don't be a douchebag. Don't be a douchebag. And, just you know, up, yeah, exactly. Just, you know, honesty sometimes hurt, but it's the best policy, you know? It's such a best policy. I, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for his response because, you know, everyone needs that. I want to see what he's going to say or if he's yeah. even going to say anything at all. What if he doesn't say anything at all? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that'd be weird. That would be really you know, weird. Be weird. That's Even... like automatically taking an L, I think. <laughs> like automatically, he was just like, <laughs> I did it, bro. I don't know. Uh, that's an automatic L. I mean, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next, next uh, couple of days. But yeah, man, this was this was a rocking show. Honestly, smashed it. I <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, Yes, hopefully. we should do more of these. 100%. Let's make this a regular thing. What do you say? Yeah, I, I, think, I think we should make a regular thing for sure. Cool. I like <laughs> that, man. But yeah, thank you, guys. We'll see Thanks you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.